Hey everyone, uh, we're here at the Sony Gamers press conference and we're here with Dylan Job, of course, who's the game director for Warhawk. Dylan, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, thanks. Good, so Warhawk, it's been a long time coming, but we're, we're finally seeing some new content. First of all, let's tell tell the readers who maybe aren't familiar with the game, what, what's Warhawk, what's it about? Well, Warhawk is a fast-paced, 32-player, multimodal war game. It's like a, the love child of, of Unreal Tournament and Battlefield. It's fast-paced, it's air combat, it's ground combat, all wrapped together in a great game that you can get download and disc on Blu-ray. Cool, so we've seen one map so far, and today we've seen a couple others. What can you tell us about the new content we're seeing here? Well, this is just a, a few of the new maps that we have, and all the maps will be available in our limited public beta. So you've got five different spaces. You've got um, vast deserts with these cool arches, almost like southern Utah. You've got um, island outposts and towering skyscrapers and, and jungle spires. There's five very diverse worlds. And then within each one of those five worlds are five different battlefields that the players can choose to play on. And uh, there's also several different modes that you can play in as well. What can you tell us about the modes? Yeah, of course. Well, there's deathmatch, team deathmatch, the classics. You've got capture the flag. And then zone mode, which is a new mode unique to Warhawk. And people have a great time playing that. What's zone mode? Zone mode is... Um, it's similar to Conquest mode from Battlefield where you go in and secure bases, but as you secure the bases, you can level them up. And as they level up, they grow more territory on the map. So what you get over the course of a battle are these organic front lines that build as the teams vie for key points. Um, not only does it add a neat new depth to that particular mode, but it, one of the things we're really happy about is it helps let players know where the combat needs to be. So instead of just arbitrarily picking a spawn point and jumping in, players can look at the mini-map and say, oh, our whole team needs to go to that bridge because it's very graphically depicted on the map. And as you were telling me before the interview, uh, the players will have a choice on not only what kind of mode they play, but on what sections of maps they'll be able to play on, right? Exactly. Like I said, you've got five different world styles. And then we allow players to cater their game experience. So if they want a meat grinder and they want all their players in just one little teeny city or a base, they can pick a boundary configuration that's tailored for that. All modes and all boundary configurations are selectable. So you can play capture the flag with just you and three of your buddies on your couch if you want to. Or if you want to host your own game and play a huge map with 32 players, you can set that up too. Cool, so I think what everybody is wondering about now is when are we going to see a public beta, and I guess you have some information on that. Absolutely. We're super excited to announce a public beta that's going live on May 24th. We've announced it here at Gamers Day. We're really excited about it. We've been able to get some great feedback from you and the other press for Warhawk Wednesdays, which is basically a closed alpha. And we're really excited about getting the content in the consumer's hands and let them play it. We feel really happy with where the game's at. Um, but really, players have to ultimately make the decision, and we look forward to them getting a chance to play it. What will they be able to play in the beta, and how do they sign up? Well, we, we took some names internal to Sony, then we're taking some names from our PlayStation Underground, and we're also taking names off of Warhawk.com. So you can hit the website and sign up, and then Sony will be selecting a, a number of names for the, the public beta. And uh, what, what will be in the beta? Well, we really care about getting solid feedback from our players. It's not like just a beta as demo. Sometimes that gets released. We are releasing to our 5,000, 6,000, however many people Sony selects, essentially the full game. We want feedback for everything. So it's all five battlefields, all the vehicles, all the ranks, all the medals, everything. And we're not sure exactly how long we're going to have the beta run for. We want to give it enough time to let players, really players that we want their opinion, to give us feedback. Oh, the rifle's too powerful. The Warhawk needs this. And we may do a patch or two so that our beta testers can kind of see the game evolve during the beta. And then we're going to be closing it off and then releasing it. Cool. Well, it's just around the corner of the beta. We'll all look forward to playing it. And we look forward to maybe uh, seeing you guys on our show again real soon. Right on. Thank you. Thanks, Dylan.